Welcome back to 3170s Horrors for Halloween, where I count down my favorite horror movies from the 1970s. At number 21, you could say I'm cheating, but hey, it's my list and I don't care. Plus, we have the movie and its sequel in the same spot. Uh, these movies are Willard and Ben. This is another movie that's similar to Carrie, but instead of following a high school girl with telekinesis, we're following a guy who befriends a bunch of rats. We have the main character, Willard, who, just like Carrie, is an outcast. He has people who look down on him, he's constantly getting beaten down by life, um, but again, instead of having telekinesis, he befriends this colony of rats. He trains these rats, he develops a connection with these rats, and eventually, he uses the rats to get revenge on the people who wronged him. <laughs> This is a, a character study and a Descent into Madness movie. Plus, for me, it's one of the best killer rat movies out there. When it comes to Willard, a lot of people know about the remake, uh, but not a lot of people know there was an original movie that came out in 1971. Um, this is a PG horror movie, but it's 1970s PG. And if you've watched my channel, you know that 1970s PG was much like what PG-13 is nowadays. Um, Bruce Davis plays Willard, and he does such a great job at playing this outcast character. He's very shy, he's kind of Norman Bates-esque, where you know he's quiet and he's, you know, subdued, but you know there's something in his brain that shows he could snap at any moment. You made me hate myself. Well, I like myself now. The, the interesting thing was, he did have to ad-lib a lot in this movie because he's dealing with rats. He had to, you know, basically work with rats and try to talk to them and work around the fact that they're rats. They're not actors. Uh, you know, and he did a good job at that. You can feel that he has a genuine connection with these rats. <laughs> Yes, this movie is a bit of a slow burn, but it's a slow burn done well. Um, you know, people do say that slow burns mean boring, and I say not when they're done well. There's plenty of interesting stuff going on before things get, you know, somewhat bloody, because again, it's a PG, heart, it's a PG horror movie. The intrigue comes from watching Willard slowly lose his mind, and him, you know, building his connection with these rats, and him plotting to use these rats for revenge. But of course, we're talking about two movies here, and uh, so I do have to talk about Willard's sequel, Ben. Now, Ben is the main rat in Willard, and he goes on into a sequel, which is named after him. You can tell me. I don't care. In this movie, the, the main rat, Ben, uh, befriends this little boy, but also builds this army of rats, and they slowly go around terrorizing the city. The main reason why I uh, want to talk about Ben here, um, it, it is a fun killer rat movie, um, but... The thing I get a kick out of whenever I talk about Ben is that it was nominated for an Academy Award. The killer rat movie, Ben, was nominated for an Academy Award. <laughs> Admittedly, yes, it, it was nominated for Best Original Song, and the song was sung, was, uh, was sung by Michael Jackson, but uh, I don't care what anybody says, uh, you cannot take that away from me. Ben, the Killer Rat movie, was nominated for an Academy Award. The same year that The Godfather won Best Picture, right alongside all these classic films, including The Godfather, was Ben, the Killer Rat movie. 
<laughs> um, unfortunately, it did not win the Academy Award, but it did, it, it did win a Golden Globe Award for Best Original Song. I mean, if you're only going to watch one of these movies, I would recommend watching Willard, uh, but I do recommend watching these two together because they are very fun movies. So, yeah, if you're looking for a double feature for Halloween, Willard and Ben is a good way to go. Tear him up! No, Willard! No, no! No, Willard! Wait, no! No, 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 Willard! 